Hello everybody, today I'm here to review The Spiderwick Chronicles by Tony D. Terlezzi and Holly Black. This is my first time reading the series and I was definitely not disappointed. I have high hopes to pick up the companion series and see if I like that or not because I know there is a lot of mixed feelings over that portion of the writing. This one though comprises five novels. The first is The Field Guide, The Seeing Stone, Lucinda's Secret is The Ironwood Tree, and the fifth is The Wrath of Mulgarath. I really love these deluxe edition covers. I think that they're absolutely stunning. The cover art is beautiful and it really represents the inside stories as well as the inside illustrations. Now, this series is about the Grace family, Mrs. Grace and her three children, Mallory and her twins, Jared and Simon. Jared and Simon are complete opposites of each other. When Simon is passive, Jared is more aggressive, and basically it kind of goes with how they feel about this move as well. Jared is really mad that his mother made them pick up and move all the way to their Aunt Lucinda's house, even though that it was partly his fault that they ended up moving there. Whereas Simon is really excited. It's a new place and there's tons of new animals and tons of new things to do. In the house though, the Grace children end up finding out that by moving here and being in the house, things are never going to be the same for them. They have their eyes open to something that usually most people in the real world don't, the fairy realm. We have elves and we've got fairies dwarves and goblins. Now, I was very interested in reading this series because I hear that it's very well done and I have to admit it definitely is. There is a lot of thought that was put into the writing and development of this story so that you get to see the whole picture and because they're only a little over a hundred pages, you can easily get through one book in about an hour or within a day. Now, I saw a lot of similarities to another series where I've only read the first book, A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket's. That series also has three children, and the beginning has a letter from the author to the reader. And in this series, The Spiderwick Chronicles, we see two letters, one being a letter from the author to the reader, and another one from the three Grace children to the author of the story. Now, I thought that was very interesting, and I did see that similarity, but since I haven't actually read more than one book in the series of unfortunate events, that's as far as I know for similarities. I felt really sorry for Jared's character throughout the first beginning portion of this series because he keeps getting blamed for everything, and you understand because he's done some very nasty things the last little while before this story starts. You understand why he's getting blamed, but if you are someone who's grown up and you've gotten blamed for things when you haven't done it, you'll understand Jared's frustration, and I think that's where the writing is done superb. You actually sympathize with the character at times. The other thing is the fact that you actually get introduced to all these different animals and all these different creatures that you necessarily don't know if you should trust at first. And I think it was very interesting seeing which side, after you've gotten to know them a bit, you actually feel you like them or not. And I think that's also another good thing with the writing. You're not left feeling like you love everyone or you hate a lot of them. You're left with some suspicions throughout most of the story as to should you trust this person or not. You also see a lot of the actual events that kids go through. You see Mallory who has a crush on someone and it's never really dealt with. There are a lot of things that happen in this story where you don't really find out more information on, but that's understandable because this story is just a part of the Grace children's life. And I think the authors did a really good job. Of course, you're not going to see tons of things that happen later on because of the fact that this is just maybe a week in their life. It's not necessarily the next three years of their life. So you're not going to see a lot of development in the little things that are included in their everyday life. The illustrations in this novel are beautiful and I'm actually going to show you a couple right now.
Now, I didn't spoil you by showing you any of those pictures because they were all from the first book in the series, The Field Guide. Overall, this was a very enjoyable series, and I'm very happy that I got reading it. It's one that is very quick to get through, and it's very enjoyable. Overall, I really enjoyed reading this series, and I think if you haven't picked up one of these books and read it, then maybe you should give it a try and see if you like it. It's just something light that you can read and maybe help you brighten up your day or if you're feeling like you're getting slumpy reading-wise, it's one that you can pick up and get through at a very fast pace. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, go and pick up a random book and read. Bye, guys.